Hi, this is Peter at Berserk Arcade at BerserkArcade.com, and this is tutorial 200. Uh, let's go ahead and open up Unity and our model develop. And due to the technical difficulty, I actually did this recording a little earlier, but the recording didn't actually, well, it didn't make it. <laughs> so instead of rolling everything back and uh, retyping all the code, I'm just simply going to go through all the changes. And I'm going to start off with our character generator. Okay, so I've gone ahead and moved our player prefs dot delete all right above our save skills. And we've typed both these lines before. And I've gone ahead and commented out all the other stuff. This way here when we're looking in our plist, or for the people in Windows using their looking in their registry, uh, the only thing you're going to see are our actual skills. And then I've gone down here and I've changed this array to be a type of uh, skill. And then I've iterate through just like before. We're just putting out the base value and experience to level, so we have to delete the current value because skills don't have that. And that's actually it for this script. So let's go into game settings, and we only have four functions in here we actually have to look at. So let me just shrink some of this stuff down. We don't have to worry. About, oh, save skills we need. We don't have to worry about any of this other stuff. So. We're still not using the constructor, but like I said, later on we can just come and delete it. If it's bothering you, just get rid of it now. And we'll just keep shrinking all these down just to save some screen space. Okay, so if I come down, I have my four functions down here. We'll just start off with the save skill. Now we've already had this line typed out, and these two lines are almost the exact same as everything else that we've saved as far as saving a, a, um, a tribute. Uh, we're just going to go into player prefs, save an integer, and for the key we're going to use the skill name, convert it to a string, and then we're going to append on our constant up top, our constant string for the base value, uh, just to make sure we don't get any typos. And then we're just going to attach the base, or so we're just going to store the base value that we're getting from our skill up here. And then over here, player prefs, same thing, get the skill name, convert it to a string, uh, append on our exp to level constant, and from our skill that we're being passed, grab the experience level and save that as well. And nothing there really should look new. Uh, let's come down here to where we're saving all of our skills at once. And it's the exact same as saving all of our tributes all at once. We just iterate through the length of the array we're given and we call this save skill class which is the one we just went over uh, we're going to convert the index that we're on to an actual skill name so we can pass that in as the first parameter and then we're going to get the skill at this point in the array that we're at get it to get the actual skill for the index and send that along as well so nothing new there so let's go ahead and look at the load skill so up here we're going to create a new skill. It's just empty. And then we're going to assign to its base value. Uh, we're going to go into player prefs, get an integer, and the integer for the key name we want to get. Uh, that wasn't planned. <laughs> for the key name, uh, we just want to get the skill name, convert it to a string, append on our base value um, constant up top. And if it doesn't find one, assign a zero. And pretty much the exact same thing for experience to level. So for the experience to level property of our skill, we're just going to go into player prefs, grab an integer, we're going to use the skill name converted to a string plus the constant for experience to level up top. And again, this really shouldn't be a zero, but I'm not worried about that just yet. And we'll pass it a zero as a default if it doesn't find one. And then we return the skill. And let's look at the last one, which is loading up of all of our skills. Uh, we create an array of skills, which is going to be equal to a new skill, and the length of this array is going to be equal to the number of actual values we have in our skill uh, enumeration, or our skill name enumeration. And currently, I believe that is six. Uh, well, we, you can look it up. I'm pretty sure it's six, but it really doesn't matter. That's, What's nice about using this way here is we don't care how long that list is, well, it'll always be right. So again, we're just going to iterate through and we're going to take uh, 
the index of the skill we're on, and we're going to tell it to load up the skill, passing in uh, the skill name based on what the index that we're at. So it comes up here, and it loads up the proper skill, returns it back, saves it here, it goes through all of our skills, and then after it's done, it returns the array of skills. And of course, that returning of the array of skills goes right here. So it's going to assign them to temp, and this is where it iterates through and prints them all up. So let's go ahead and take a look at that in action. Again, I apologize for losing the other video. It couldn't be helped. Uh, it just didn't save. So we'll just start off entering a name. We'll just mix and match a few different stats here, or attributes. One thing I would like to do, actually, I think is put a cap on the max you could have in a tribute, maybe say like 100 is max, so you can't have someone put all, like get a skill, I believe right now up to 120 is the max, but then again, you can also lower your other tributes down to the minimum, and, but yeah, it's something I'm going to look at a little later on, but not now. So let's hit next, and we'll see it goes off, and it's saving uh, 0 for the base and 25 for the experience to level, and let's open up an actual P list and here we go uh, here we go we have six different skills so there should be 12 entries for it plus one for the unity graphics quality so 13 total 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and 13 and they're all right so the 25 and the 0 let's take a look see where those come from uh, we'll stop this, and I'm actually going to open up my skill class. Uh, the 25 comes from the experience level, which is the base default value. And the 0, if we actually go back into Unity and start it up, now the base value only goes up when you click the little plus buttons beside either an attribute and a vital or a skill. And at this point in the game, all they can raise is their attributes. So these numbers that you're seeing over here are not base values. Uh, they're being added by the modifying attributes. So these are the mod values you're actually seeing. And down here is the same thing. Uh, so that's pretty much all we had for this one. Uh, there are a few more things I'm going to want to move over. Uh, if we come up to the top here. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm going to be getting rid of this as I don't need it anymore. Uh, let me see. This here I still want to keep because I think it's just an easy convention for other people who are creating the game along with us and want to have their levels named differently. Uh, we don't need the awake function anymore. It's no longer a model behavior. Uh, we got all our saving and all of our loading set. Well, let me just check that just to make sure. I believe we have everything. So we don't have to find a, a character anymore. Uh, so we're saving name, attributes, vitals, and skills. Yeah, it looks like we got everything out of there except for this part up here, which I'm just going to expand. And I'm going to cut and paste it right at the top. And I'm going to go underneath these constants. Uh, actually, I'm going to go underneath the player character that we made. I'm going to put it here. And we're actually going to have to add one more up here just for... Uh, because I have four scenes now. So this will be two. And this will actually be three. And this isn't character creation. This is character customization. And I believe that's everything. Now I'm probably going to do a little few things behind the scene. Um, I'm probably going to switch over to testing out that Necromancer skin. Uh, if you haven't found it yet, uh, if you just go to the website and do a search on the website uh, for the Necromancer skin, it looked pretty good. I haven't actually really played around with it. I've just looked at the, the core assets that came with it. And I'm going to try it out here, see how it looks. Uh, it should be a good starting point. 
And next we're actually going to move on. There's a few little bugs that I've noticed. Uh, I believe the first one is actually in our very first scene, uh, which will be main menu. Uh, let me just open that up. Yeah, I believe I had a bug in here I wanted to go ahead and fix. And I want to actually start switching things over to using the new script. So we might as well start at the first scene. And well, anyway, that's probably where we're going to start off in the next video. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.